what if you're looking for a better balance overall? Maybe you want more energy or even improved strength. Could the answer be in this bracelet? These balance bracelets are a multi-million dollar industry. Many people say all you need to do is to try it to believe it. All of these people are excited about iRenew, the revolutionary bracelet that uses natural frequencies to promote strength and wellness. Just watch these strength and balance tests. Without iRenew, these people couldn't even stay on their feet. After slipping iRenew on, they were amazed at how their balance was instantly restored. Just put it on and you'll experience the difference immediately. So I've seen a ton of commercials like mm -hmm. this, and I'm sure you have as well, wondering, do they really work? Well, we actually put three of the most popular types of these bracelets, these so-called balance bracelets, to the test in a university lab. But before we get to the results, I want to hear about our participants' reaction. We have Leslie, Michael, and Sheila with us. Welcome. Thank you. So you guys formally went through an experiment with these but just generically, did you feel as though these helped? Kind of. <laughs> no. Big no. No. Yeah. no, I kind of. Kind of, yeah. Kind, kind of. of. No. So, so a little bit of a no, a kind of, and a? A little. Uh, I wanted to eat a little bit less and work out more. Really? There you go. Well, mm -hmm. hey. And, and you know what? We, we weren't part of this experiment, but we've been wearing these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell a lick of a difference. But, you know, a lot of folks say this really helps. And personal experience is one thing, but let's see what our experiment showed. I'm Peggy Roller, Doctor of Physical Therapy and Associate Professor at California State University, Northridge. I get a lot of questions about balance bracelets. They always ask me if they work, how they work, if they're for real. So today, we're going to put them to the test. We have three subjects here today that are going to help us out. So one of them is going to use one of the most popular brands, which they say uses holographic technology and improves balance and athletic performance. Another subject will wear a bracelet that claims to use biofield technology to improve balance balance, strength, and endurance. And our last subject will wear a bracelet that contains nothing but rubber and metal. It's a placebo, but our subject won't have any knowledge of that. What I'm going to do today is we're going to test you on this system. We're going to be performing three tests on a dynamic force plate. Sensory organization test, motor control test, and an adaptation test. Okay, you ready for the big ones? I think so. All right. How are you feeling right now? Are you okay, Leslie? Yeah, it was just fun. Close your eyes. Whoa. Oh, almost. Oh, yikes. All right. So now that we've completed all of the baseline testing, I'm going to give each of you a different balance bracelet, and then we're going to retest. Good. So as steady as possible. It feels solid. Do you? Shift your weight. When I was wearing the bracelet, when the walls are moving and the floor is moving, I felt more solid than when I wasn't wearing it the first time. Um, so I don't know if it's the bracelet or if it's my mind. I don't know. I feel a little more balanced at this point. When I wore this bracelet, I noticed a difference when I was standing on one leg, especially with my eyes closed. It just felt more comfortable standing there. So I've taken a preliminary look at the data, and I think people might be surprised with the results. Well, balance specialist Peggy Rollers join us today to talk about the results. So Peggy, this was just an experiment with three people, right. so this isn't science per se, but how did they do with the bracelets versus without? Well, it was very interesting. Um, Leslie here, who you saw on the film, she's wearing the holographic technology bracelet, and she actually made a significant improvement in her ability to use sensory information for balance, to be able to balance when the environment is moving and when visual conflict is there. However, she did worse on the one leg stand test. So she actually fell wow. two times on the single limb stance test with the bracelet on, but she did fine without it. So there were a little bit All mixed right, results so. there, yep. And then both Michael and Sheila, their performance scores were exactly the same. 80, 80, 84, 84, with and without the bracelets. And if I may, I think a big part of this is, you know, the science, isn't there with these bracelets. But without question, if you believe mm -hmm. something is going to improve your ability to take a test, to jump higher, to run faster, yeah. that mind-body connection, that is a legitimate factor yes. in performance. Oh, yeah. yes. We call that the placebo effect. 